Love is unconditional. Love has no conditions. Conditional love isn't love at all. There is no such thing as conditional love because once you add a, add a condition to it, it's no longer love because now you're controlling. You know, love doesn't take prisoners. A lot of when people think they're in love with somebody, they're not in love with somebody. They're keeping them prisoner. Like, I really love this bird, so I'm going to cut clip its wings and I'm going to put it in a cage. Now, the only thing that makes a bird a bird is what? It flies. So you're going to take the only thing that makes it a bird because you love it so much, just stick it in a cage. No, that's not love. That's attachment. That's I love you as long as you stay in this cage right next to me, as long as you don't leave me. But that's the way we do it with, with people too. Like, I love you as long as you don't leave me. If you try to leave me, then I'm gonna hurt you so nobody can have you because I love you so much. You know, I, I, I love you so much. The only reason I'm mad at you right now is because I love you so much. No, that's not love. love. Love is patient, love is kind, love never changes. Now, uh, so love is unconditional, means it doesn't have any conditions. It's not conditioned upon time nor space nor what anybody does or doesn't do. Now, that being said, it's very important also because there's a time in my life where I thought unconditional love was just, you know, getting beat down by somebody like it, and no matter what they did to me every time they, they they just jabbed me in my heart and I just like kept allowing that saying well no I'm just unconditionally loving well that wasn't love either because uh, you can only love somebody to the degree that you love yourself we don't we, we we teach people how to treat themselves by how we treat ourselves so if you're allowing somebody to just hurt you all the time then you're not loving them. How do you know? Because you're not loving yourself. You can't love them if you don't love yourself. So you got to draw the draw the lines in the sand, draw the boundaries, because what you're actually teaching that person, you're teaching them, oh, you want to know what love is, person? Okay, well, just hurt me, and then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna come back to you. And that's how you know that I love you. So what they're learning is to hurt somebody. Like if somebody really cares about you, just hurt them. That's what you're you're enabling them. You're teaching them the exact wrong thing to do. So that's not love either, because love confronts dysfunction. What is dysfunction? There's no good or bad, right or wrong, just what works and doesn't work given what you're trying to accomplish. That isn't, if you, know, if you want love, that ain't gonna get it. So it's not bad or wrong, just not gonna accomplish that. So you need to help that person out by drawing a line in the sand, say no more, I'm not gonna do this anymore. That's loving them, confronting the dysfunction. Uh, love is eternal. It's all that exists. It's, it's the only thing that exists. So if the answer is love, love is always the answer because it's the only thing that's real then please rephrase the question how is this love so it's about understanding unveiling the love because we don't see the world as it is we see the world as we are so it's important to start seeing the world through the eyes of love so start unveiling the what the the, the content or the form so you can see through to the content right so we're we're the, the veil gets removed and you can see the content of everything is love but sometimes it comes out because every single thing is an expression of love or an outcry for help. And even an outcry for help has love in the, in the core of it. Uh, and the last thing I want to say about love is that it is infinite connection. You cannot create love because love is the only thing that exists. You can't create the only thing that exists. It's already there. It's all that exists. And so if it ain't forever, it ain't love. And if it ain't love, it ain't for real. So uh, love is remembering, remembering we're all one. Everything is perfect, always has been, and it always will be. If you like this video, uh, make sure you just click the like button and hit subscribe if you're on YouTube so you can be, uh, you know, whenever I got more videos coming out uh, and share it with the world, share it with some people and, and if you think that would help them. And also make sure you show up to our, we got an event called Awaken the Life Live. It's a, a event that we cover the cost. You just show up for yourself fully. It's all taken care of. You just show up, it's an online event. So just go to awakenedlifelive.com and just register for it. And you can share that with other people as well. So thank you all for being here.